oh yeah i almost forgot to tell you uh do you want to send us stuff because this is how you send us stuff we have a p.o box now that's right p.o box 924 prudenville michigan 48657 if you have anything you'd like to send in to the place to be reviews that's where it goes and that's where your packages will be coming from as well when i ship things out to you my kazooians Everybody, welcome back to the channel. You see these four smiling faces. Well, a couple of them are smiling. One of them is just looking dashing, and that's Bronson Pinchno, Paul Reiser, John Ashton, and Judge Reinhold, better known as original Beverly Hills Cop cast, will return for Netflix Axel Foley movie. More happy about this, I could not be. Uh, even though Beverly Hills Cop 3 was sort of lackluster, and I was very, very nervous when I heard they were doing uh, another, you know, uh, continuation of this franchise, which from the eight, it, from the 1980s, um, as far as like comedy, police action goes, the Beverly Hills Cop and Beverly Hills Cop 2 are among the top of that list. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop is a amazing movie. Eddie Murphy, what a talent, um, and, and more happy. I could not be than to see, you know, Detroit in the beginning of that movie. Um, you know, that's, I, I've been, a lot of the establishing shots, I've been through a lot of those places in Detroit as a kid with my dad. Um, but, and, and later on in life, you know, just, it, it's, it's such a historic city um, that's been, you know, immortalized in so many different movies in so many different ways. Um, a lot of the times, you know, is portrayed as, you know, this violent post-apocalyptic hellhole and they're not far off from the truth, especially in the eighties. But let's talk about this article from Deadline. I am, like I said, a huge Beverly Hills Cop fan and I, I love to see these guys coming back for this movie. I, I really do. I, uh, Bronson Pinch, uh, Paul Reiser, I, I mean, you... you John Ashton and Judge Ryan. Judge Reinhold, um, next to this, was probably one of my favorites. You know, his his character in Seinfeld, the close talker. Uh, but let's let's talk about this article a little bit. Speaking of talking, expect more banana in the tailpipe hijinks in Netflix's new Beverly Hills Cop, Axel Foley, as the cast members from the original franchise are coming back, including Judge Reinhold and John Ashton's detective Billy Rosewood and Sergeant Taggart, sidekick cops to Eddie Murphy's character. Paul Reiser, and Bronson Pinchno. Reiser played Axel Foley's Detroit cop partner, Jeffrey Friedman, in the first two films, and Pinchno was a sassy art gallery salesman. Mark Malloy is directing off Will Beal's screenplay. Jerry Bruckheimer and Chad Oman are producing from Bruckheimer Films along with Murphy. Uh, the fact that Jerry Bruckheimer you know, is coming back, it, it's just... It, it, I know, I know, I know all the nostalgia bait and stuff like that. People are like, oh, you're falling for it. Mm. No, um, there's certain movies that it was like, like this one, like Ghostbusters. You know, you, you can't help yourself. But if you get a new entry and it looks good, you're going to get excited about it if you love it. And like Ghostbusters, this is one of those just beloved franchises from the 80s that, I mean... In all honesty, could it have stayed there, never resurfaced, and still been just as amazing? Absolutely, even though I know the third movie was made in like 94, 95. Um, the, the third movie didn't necessarily need to be made. Did this need to be made? Probably not. Will it be good? There's a definite possibility this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I didn't see the Dolomite movie with Eddie Murphy, which I've seen a lot of the Dolomite black exploitation films with Rudy Ray Moore. I need to go back and watch that with Eddie. I really do. Uh, one of the the most influential stand-up comedians in the 80s, uh, Eddie Murphy. You know, brilliant on Saturday Night Live back in the day. We were just talking about Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood the other night on Saturday Night uh, Saturday Night's main event. Uh, executive producers are Sharice Hewitt-Webster and Ray Angelic. And Melissa Reed is co-producing for Bruckheimer Films. 
The sequel has a log line that's under wraps and is currently shooting in California where it's getting a $15.7 million worth of tax credits. The first three Beverly Hills Cop movies, 84, 87, and 94, grossed a combined total of $612.2 million worldwide. Deadline first told you about the Paramount sequel getting a license with Netflix for an option for a sequel. Murphy previously made a Netflix movie, Dolomite Is My Name, which he portrayed the black exploitation star Rudy Ray Moore. That pick earned Golden Globe noms for Best Picture, Musical Comedy, and for Murphy's Best Actor in a Musical Comedy Feature. You know, I wasn't even sure if um, Ashton was still alive when they were talking about redoing this. I, I wasn't, because I hadn't heard anything out of him in so long. I I'm sure he's still been acting, but I haven't heard anything out of him. Judge Reinhold looks... Still looks the same. I mean, pretty much. Um, Paul Reiser is about the same. Uh, Bronson Pinchot is is you know he looks you know obviously they've aged, but they they all look like relatively good. And I'm so excited for this. It, it really is. It's going to be a fun uh, a fun watch. I think. I, I don't. I fingers crossed this goes. This really goes well and is fun and successful and brings us back to that you know the heart of the franchise. Um, Obviously, all these guys are older now, but I mean, it, it's it's Beverly Hills Cop, you know. It just it gives you that. It does. It just gives you that fun feel. And this is it's funny too because like my son loves Beverly Hills Cop one and two. You know, the kid loves them because um, I watch them. For like the first time he watched it, we'd already listened to the soundtrack. You know, he lo he he really digs the soundtrack. Um, so to you know, it, it's. For him to see the movie in the opening credits with the heat is on and the original Beverly Hills Cop, you know, the opening scenes of Detroit. And I was telling him, you know, this is where Grampy used to be a police officer and all that. So, yeah, it was, uh, it's fun. It's a great movie. It's a great franchise. And I could not be more excited for this entry. It's so nice to be able to talk about something that's, that's fun, you know, um, and, the, and you have this optimism for and it's not like met with an equal amount of you know trepidation leading into the release of the project so yeah seeing all the familiar names back uh, including like i said bruckheimer is is very uh it puts my mind at ease a little bit going into this but now it's your turn guys let me know and girls and everybody else let me know what you think are you a beverly hills cop fan which one's your favorite out of the original trilogy, I guess. Which one would be your favorite? One, two, or three? Uh, I'm interested to see if part three is anybody's favorite. If it is, I'd really like to know why and how, but I respect it nonetheless. So, all that in the comments because we like comments. We love them. Smash the like button or the dislike button, whichever you want. It's fine with me either way. Subscribe, ding the bell for notifications if you're so inclined to subscribe. You might also want to consider joining as a channel member. We have two tiers, $2.99 and $4.99. $2.99 is our Kazooian tier, which we will send you a uh, official place to be reviews kazoo. This one doesn't have the logo on it, but we will send you one of those uh, with a official. Those of you who might be new here, I, I was a 10-year veteran of uh, the independent professional wrestling scene, uh, which I have a box full of trading cards. I'll send you one of my trading cards uh, signed. As a Kazooian, you get that. Um, plus, you know, you get all the emojis and badges in the uh, in the chats on the streams. Harvey Wakuian producers, um, you guys can request videos. You can request live stream topics. You know, and you still have the uh, all the all the accesses are the same. Like I said, except for the Kazooians don't get to request videos and stuff like that. But you can always always DM me if you have an idea for a story or a video. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. You guys are my subscribers. You guys, in some cases, in my membership are paying me for content. You know, we do eight member streams a month. Uh, you know, plus I'm, I've released two members videos this, uh, this week. And they're not just, I'm not scrimping on the members videos either. They're a normal, uh, regularly produced video by me. So that's there too. I'm gonna try to add at least two of those a week. So you guys will be getting what? Uh, eight members videos a month. Eight members live streams a month. I'm trying to pack every dollar, uh, you know, every value, uh, the value of the dollar. I'm trying to make it work for you guys more. Um, so thank you. And like I said, if you don't, if you don't want to join or you can't join, just subscribe. Enjoy the content. We've got over 1,100 videos and live streams in the back catalog to watch. 
So, yeah. Uh, this will be one that I'll definitely review when it drops on Netflix. I am so excited for this. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do all the YouTube things. I'm Etep Wakuin of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day. A pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is